So tell us a bit about your show. Uh, my show is my second show. The show's called Reasonable Doubts, and I recorded that. And the show is basically about my first show going uh, very well, um, and how my career changed in like six months after Edinburgh. And just about the fact that because of the first show going well, then once you do that, they just want more from you. So it's about, the show's about dealing with the sophomore jinx and um, worrying about being able to follow up on that success, not being considered a fluke. And not, that's like me personally, but then the show's also about social doubts, about, you know, will we all just get along in society, be it black, white, men, women, gay, straight, and then finally global doubts. And at the end of the day, you know, it's, it's still a rock hurtling in space and there's an astronaut going to hit us and, you know, take care of all of it. Or, you know, are we going to be victims of maybe a zombie apocalypse or a vampire one, or a zombie vampire apocalypse, or a radioactive zombie vampire apocalypse? You know, all the normal stuff that keeps people awake at night. Or the fact that, you know, people say pigeons are flying rats, but really, if you saw a rat with wings, you'd be a lot more scared than if you saw a pigeon without them. So, it's that kind of thing is what I'm talking about, is that you need to worry about. And also, you know, rats get tested on all the time. So it means that every day, because they're in laboratories, gaining more resistance to different drugs and different tests all the time, and they can't vomit, and their teeth don't stop growing, and they probably outnumber human beings like 10 to 1. So guys are sitting there worried about what this color person, this color skin is, or what this color of person's skin is. At some point, rats can climb up toilets. Be priorities in order, everybody. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to ask you to pick a num three numbers from 1 to 20. Three numbers from 1 to 20. Uh, 7, 15, 17. Okay, number 7. Name three celebrities you would invite to a dinner party. Dead or alive? Oh, dead or alive. Uh, Bruce Lee. Um, uh, I guess we consider them civil celebrities, like civil rights leaders aren't really celebrities. Really? Yeah, it counts. Sorry, are you telling me I've thought too long about that? No, <laughs> I, okay, well fine, yeah, Malcolm X and Martin Luther King, Bruce Lee, those three. Good choice. Was it 15 as well? Yes. Biggest fashion faux pas in your life? White socks, love them, don't care. Never change, never change, ever. Ever anybody, whether you're a family member, girlfriend never changing good enough for michael jackson who i'm afraid couldn't make dinner but then he is a vegan so he's got a lot of dietary requirements that i haven't got time to work around with such short notice harold i'm sorry so he didn't come so yeah white socks was it number 17 you chose as well yeah, yeah. what do you think is overrated and why um i think that uh Reality TV is overrated. I think the Kardashian thing is overrated. The whole Kardashian movement. And I know people are going to attack me on this, but I understand people that love Kardashian. I love the idea that you could do nothing or get paid to be a professional girl where your entire business model relies on you doing stuff like walking around coquettishly on heels and wearing makeup and stuff. And that's not just a female thing, it's reality in general because you know, they get given a hard time for being gold diggers. But what about people like Kevin Federline? You're a lazy bum too. You didn't deserve a show, Kevin, or a record deal. So, association, celebrity by association is overrated, guys. You should stop doing that. In fact, that's probably some, is that the best thing that says overrated? It's overrated, man. There's other things out there, people. Cool. <laughs> uh, what's next for you career-wise? Um, who knows, man? I mean, the plan is, the plan is that uh, tour next year. Um, I have a pilot on BBC Three on, a, on the iPlayer called Sunny D. So I've written my and starring in my own. Well, it's not a show yet, but with your help, guys, it could be a show. So if you guys want to actively be involved in my future, then go on BBC iPlayer um, on the comedy feeds and watch uh, Sunny D. Um, so hopefully that will be potentially filming a series, but uh, doing a tour next year. Um, yeah, continuing to perform and yeah, I guess preparing myself for next year's fringe, um, as well as regularly showering, brushing my teeth, uh, and maintaining personal hygiene. Where and when can people watch you at the fringe? 
Um, you can watch me every day, but on the 17th at the Versailles in the Peasants Courtyard, uh, 7.15. show is called Reasonable Doubts. Um, why you say why? All right, guys, let me explain. Um, so I am a Foster's nominee for Best Newcomer for my show last year. First black British act in the entire history of the Foster's Awards to ever be nominated. Um, it's had a sold out run last year. And yeah, I said I uh, had a pilot commission as well. And also, it's funny. And I spent a lot of time on the other side of the microphone, guys. So it's not going to be a contrived monologue about what I think is wrong with the world. This is me allowing us all to enjoy hilarious group therapy. So you've come away uh, feeling that you've been entertained as well as learn something about yourself and also have something to think about. So, yeah. And bring the kids. And um, by kids, I mean, you know, people over the age of like 14 or 15. People with national insurance, because. After they watch the show, you're gonna be like, you know what? You need to stop taking responsibility for your life, kids. So don't get a damn job. Kind of carrying you through this world. So yeah, it's a good show. Come and see it, guys. Thank you.